Hello farmers, maybe you are there and you want to get into braider farming. Into this video, we are going to discuss on the cost of starting a 500 braider farm. But before that, we are going to discuss the factors that you should consider before starting the braider farming. And later we are going to talk about the budgeting. Budgeting is so important because it gives you estimates of the cash that you are going to spend and what you are going to get at the end of the broiler farming after selling your chicken. Therefore, make sure you watch the video till the end. And please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and please share the video to your friends. Before starting a broiler farm, you need to be passionate. Meaning that you must have the love for the birds and the drive to continue no matter the challenges. Braille farming is not a walk in the park. So now and then you're going to face some challenges, but you should be able to keep on and uh, it will pay after a period of time. Another thing is that you should be committed. You should be able to uh, prior prioritize and be intentional about the broiler farming and also you should avoid shortcuts because there's a thing that goes shortcuts are always wrong cuts therefore avoid shortcuts do everything as it should be so that you can avoid losses later in your farming you should be able to set your goals and production targets the goals and production targets will help you to attain your pro to be able to mark your progress so that you can be able to improve on places that you notice that there are problems you also need need a land where you are going to set up the house for the all your birds also the land should be in an accessible place that is a place where there is road so that you can be able to take your product to the market the land should be also in a place where there is electricity that is access to power because in broiler farming you're going to need uh, electricity another thing is uh, about the topography or the outlay of your land it should be well drained another factor to consider before starting your broiler farming is the market market is one of the most important factors to consider because you must look for a market before starting the broiler farm be sure that the buyer will purchase your broiler chickens after the five weeks so that you can avoid the, the delay because the delay will mean that you will stay with your birds in the farm and they are consuming feeds that you had not accounted for hence this will bring losses now getting right into it let's discuss about the budgeting of the 500 broiler chickens the first thing that you need is to build a chicken house in the construction of the chicken house you're going to need the house materials for the 500 broiler chicken will go for 60,000 kenyan shillings for the construction of the broiler chicken house you are going to need the labor the labor will cost you an, uh, uh, up to 10,000 shillings then you are going now to need the accessories for the broiler birds that that is the first thing you have to buy is the brooding jiko you need one jiko which goes for 1,800 shillings you will also need the chick trays here is where you are going to feed your chicks and you need 10 trays which will go for 2,000 shillings you need the tube feeders 10 of them which goes for 8,500 then you, you will need the chick drinkers uh, 5 of them which will go for 675 shillings then there is the adult drinkers you will need 10 of the drinkers which will go for 3,500 3, shillings the adult drinkers will be used as the chick grows older so the total for the for all the costs of the accessories and the housing will uh, uh, will go for 86,475 shillings. After building the poultry house and buying the accessories, now you are going to feed your chicks from the day they arrive into the farm until the last day you are going to sell them off. That is from day one up to day 35. I have subdivided the budget in terms of weeks. So in week one, you are going to uh, purchase and raise the day old chicks. So you are going to buy the 500 
uh, day old chicks which will go for 45,000 shillings. Then you are going to buy the disinfectant, one liter, which goes for 750 shillings. You are going to buy the starter mash. These are the feeds which you are going to feed your chicks. For the 500 braided chicks, they feed 82.5 kgs for that week and they are, you are going to need 6,575 shillings. Then you are going to need a one packet of uh, one packet of vitamins which will go for 350 shillings. You are going to need the charcoal bags uh, which go for 4,500 shillings. Then you are going to need the wood shavings. This is the rittering material. For uh, uh, You will need five bags which will go for 750 shillings. So the total cost of all the, the things that you are going to use in the first week adds up to 57,926 shillings. In week 2, that is from day 8 to day 14, you are going to be feeding and vaccinating your chicks. For the feeds, you, uh, you need a starter mash uh, uh, of 180, 186 kgs for that week and this will cost you 14,880 shillings. Then you are going to need vaccines, that vaccines for Newcastle and infectious bronchitis, uh, one packet one packet each and this will cost 500 shillings. Then you are going to need a one packet of Gumboro vaccine which will cost you 500 shillings. The total cost of this the second week will be 15,880 shillings. In the third week that is from day 15 to day 21 you are going to continue with the feeding uh, of, of your chicks and also the vaccination. You are going to, in this week, you are going to need 324 kgs of starter mash. This will cost you 25,680 shillings. And also you are going to need a Gumboro, one packet of Gumboro vaccine, which you will administer on day 18 uh, to 19. And you are going to need 500 shillings for this vaccine. The total of week 3 will add up to 26,180 shillings. In the end of the week three and the start of week four, you are going to gradually introduce now the finisher mash. And in week four, you are going to need 472 kgs of the finisher mash, which will cost you 37,760 shillings. You are also going to need you are also going to need Newcastle and infectious bronchitis vaccines, uh, one packet each, uh, which will go for 500 shillings. The total cost of week 4 will be will add up to 38,260 shillings. In week 5, that is from day 28 to day 35, you will need a 605.5 kgs of finisher mash which will cost you 48,440 shillings. The total cost of this of, of week 5 will be 48,000 440. Note that the cost of the feed can vary depending on the company that you are buying your feeds from. At the end of the five weeks, you will have spent 20, 273,171 shillings. And considering that we lose only 50 of our birds throughout uh, in this batch, this will mean that we will be left with 450 birds which will be sold for 225,000 shillings. The difference between the cash spent and the cash earned is supposed to be our profit. Now you will see that the profit will be negative 48,161. This means that in this first batch you are not going to make any profit. In the second batch the cash spent will be 273,161. 61 shillings you subtract the housing and the accessory cost that is 86,475 you are going to get 186,686 shillings as the cash spent now you will take the cash the cash and minus the cash spent the cash and in the second batch will be 225,000 now you will minus the cash spent that is the 186,686 
shillings, uh, you are going to get a profit of 38,484. As you have observed, a lot of cost is being incurred on the feeds. Therefore, if you can be able to formulate your own feeds, you can be able to cut the cost and increase on the profits. Talking about feeds, click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to learn on how to formulate your own broiler feeds.